Hi everyone, welcome to Geek Decoders YouTube channel. Today I'm going to explain all except DAX function with a very simple example. Let's see uh, the tutorial. In my data set, I have salesperson, item, sales value, and sales date. To uh, demonstrate the all except DAX function, I'll create a measure here call all except test so here I will use the calculate function some sales value and then I will add all except and here I need to give the table name and then I will have to give a column here so here I will use salesperson as the all except value so first I'll demonstrate what will happen so then I'll explain now my measure is ready here so I'll add it to a card function see so it gives the value all except value some value and then another card function I'll create to show the sales value so here both values are same now now I will introduce few parameters or few filterings here so I'll add item as a filtering right and then I'll add salesperson as a filtering and then I add sales date as a filtering sales date I will add only let's say okay months add a filtering so these are the filterings that we have so now let's see if I click what will happen so in the all except one here in the measure right so I set the column value as salesperson that means this one let's see what will happen so if I select around greater so here it will filter from around greater if it's uh, select Britney so it will filter from Britney but let's say if we filter from car so as you can see all except value will not change here if you set car it will not change if you set but let's come to normal one normal sales value it will filter according to the any filter that we use if you select months so here as you can see it will get filtered this value the normal field sales value will get filtered but all except value will not get filtered so but all accepted value get filtered only when we select the particular column right so that is why we use all except value so actually what we require here or what we need here is to avoid any other filtering when we calculate some average or count or whatever so we want to avoid all other filterings when we use the all except function hope the tutorial which i have done is clear today and please subscribe my channel for more power bi videos